excuse our attire, we're having a sleepover. We're never too old for sleepovers. Exactly. So, uh, we're doing the best friend tag. This will be fun. <laughs> she has no idea what <laughs> questions there you are. Oh, oh, I did read them. Uh, it's not like I'm prepared or anything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. You want to go first on every one of them? That'd be fair since I read them. Okay. Okay, question one. When and how did you meet? <laughs> okay, that's funny. Um, her husband and my hubby worked together. And what, Victor was giving Victor rides to work. And at that time, we had our we just had JoJo. And she was like, what, three months? Mm -hmm. Two like months old. Two months or something. Mm -hmm. And we were trying to move out on our own because we lived with his parents. And Victor said, oh, my wife is a manager at this apartment complex. Um, maybe she can help you guys. And she did. So we went to go, like, apply and everything. <laughs> and uh, that's how we met, right? Yeah. My story is a little different than that. Since I obviously didn't meet her in the sense of meeting, meeting her that way. What do you mean? So, yeah, I met her. <laughs> When she moved into the complex, I, even though I did everything else, the processing, paperwork, and everything, I officially met her after Victor, this is now you're going to find out something, uh, after Victor said, you've got to meet Victor's girlfriend because she wants to meet you. She's super excited. <laughs> did he say that? What the hell did I say that? <laughs> he's like, you have to meet her. And I said, oh, I guess so. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the truth comes out. No, Wait, I why did you say that? Like, right when you guys moved in. They met, they, I moved them in, and it happened to be the apartment right next to us. And oh, it, it worked because they were going to work together, and it was just easier. And They would carpool. They would carpool and share lunches and all kinds of stuff. But, yeah, I met them. I think it was. You have to tell them about Victor's sandwiches. Victor, I would notice that our bread loaves would be finishing super fast. <laughs> and it was because I would be like, Are you eating that much bread? <laughs> What's going on? And then he'd be like, No, it's because I take a sandwich to my co worker, Hector. And I'm like, Oh, you mean that little boy that drives a tall? <laughs> Yeah, and so looks really little. He looked like a baby when I met. I mean, this was what almost six years ago. Yeah, six years ago. So, um, I mean, they were young. They were babies. I think he was what? He, no, I was eighteen, so he was twenty, and we were twenty-five. Ah, oh, how the time has flown. <laughs> but um, so Victor said you were. He was, I was excited. He was like, she was excited, and then I had to meet her, and I was like, okay, well, I'm a guy's girl. You know, I like paint my friends to be guys. I was like, oh, you never know. Don't look at us now. I broke her. She <laughs> broke her first streak of guys. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, question two. What's your favorite memory together? Of us? Oh, we have so many, though. You want me to say mine? No, I want to. Okay, say yours. I want to think about mine. My favorite memory of us is I don't have one. See, I don't have it's everything. Either. I think our traveling would be my favorite. We do a lot of traveling together. That's, I think, our favorite thing to do. Yeah. And um, even, like, little getaways. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, long trips, but, like... We go to Disneyland for the week, like, yeah. two days, and we stay the night at a hotel. We make... <laughs> we make... It's, like, fun. Yeah. So... Um, what's... Yeah, I would say the same thing. Um, just because, like, it's really hard to find people that... Okay, because it's hard to find another couple that is into the same things that you're into, and they're really good with our daughter. So, yeah, yeah they're your cute. daughter's godparents. Yeah, they are her godparents. <laughs> so obviously, they have to be good to her. Um, Even yeah. though they didn't want to do the video, our husbands are best friends too. They are. They admitted it, but not to each other. So it's kind of stupid. Um, men, yeah, men all and the trips family. we've taken. We've taken so many trips. I think my top one, though, has to be Mammoth. We went to Mammoth because it was like a family trip. Um, we spent New Year's together. Even though I had strep throat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And when we went down the sled, 
We have fun. a lot of little like memories uh, as far as that's concerned, but I think most of our memories come from our trips. Yeah. Even or though like we have stupid like, nights like that we got drunk. Or like right now, when we have a nice little memory. Like we're, right I mean, adults, but we still have We with. act, yeah, we act like kids when they're together. We act worse than my goddaughter. Um, no, question three. Describe each other in one word. Um, I think I have one for you. I don't think I have one word for her. I'm going to give us three. Three is okay? Three, okay. Okay. Um, even Wait, can I go first? Okay, you go first. Okay, the Don't first make me word. cry. Okay, the first word. I have one off the top of my head, and that's spunky. And then generous, because honestly, I think you're the most generous person I ever know. Like, not that, I mean, your family has to be generous, because that's kind of fucked up if they're not. But she's, like, generous to people that are not, like, her family. So, and, like, we wouldn't have our wings to fly if it wasn't for our help moving in. So generous and loyal. Aww. I love you, God damn it. I told you. <laughs> Good thing I wear waterproof shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like, my, okay, my, my first word is a series of words. A wonderful mother. Aww. That'd be one. Um, you are a very classy individual. Oh. Classy. Classy. Okay. Um, you carry yourself well, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for that. And, and you've overdealt. Yeah. She's she over she's done, dealt with a lot of both BS in her life, and I think she, the way she's handled it is very classy and sophisticated. I'm gonna put those in two. I'm cheating. And my third one, <laughs> and what my third one would be um, oh caring. You're a very caring you individual. So she, she thinks she thinks of everybody else's feelings before you want. We're winging it. Okay. Okay, so what I was saying is, yeah, she needs to, to be selfish and think of herself sometimes, but she's not like that because she's a very caring individual. That's just how you are. Yeah. I know. You need to be selfish. Wait, I was thinking of the camera. <laughs> Excuse the jiggly. Um, okay, question four. See, this is, I don't know why this is on the best friends tag, but we're just going off the questions that are on the tag. What's your dream job? <laughs> <laughs> My dream job? I feel like some of these things are like for kids that are 16, but whatever. I don't give a shit. My dream job. My dream job would actually be to like do something with makeup, but that I make a lot of money. Like make your own line? Yeah. Like I'm so passionate about beauty, but... And I yet, want to make the moolah. And yet, you don't go to school for that. No. Because I know the money's up. <laughs> Sorry. My dream job would be the one I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't see her doing anything else. I get... I, I, um... I hate it sometimes. I'm not going to lie. I don't know anybody... Well, people who actually go to school and get their job that they wanted forever. Yeah. But I don't... My dream job is what I do now, which is I'm an apartment manager. I live where I work, so A, I don't have to drive anywhere. Um, and I don't have to get ready that well either. Five I, minutes before. Five minutes or like, uh, I could get ready five minutes before I open up or I don't have to worry about like getting up early to get ready. And then, but that's, the, that's also the downside. I can never leave work at work because work is at home. So that's the problem, but I can't see myself doing anything else. I've been doing it for, like, going on nine years now. So. Oh, it's really fun. It's fun. I met her that way. And she gets to do a lot of fun things because she's not busy all the time. Like, like edit videos. <laughs> edit videos. Even though or I... Or film videos. You know what? I should, prob <laughs> I should probably cut that because that's probably not good to say about my work. <laughs> Your okay. boss is gonna go on. <laughs> anyway, so oh, your boss is gonna go on. And stop. <laughs> okay, okay, back to what you're saying. My dream job would be what I would be doing right now, and because I don't see myself doing anything else. I didn't go to college, so I don't. <laughs> she could go. But I she, could go, but I, I, I don't know. I'm sometimes scared. I hate school. I'm. I don't like she walked work. Out. I walked out of my. I tried to go back at City College and 
I just, it wasn't for me. I guess school's for people who, who are smart, <laughs> like you. But, you know, I'm street smart. Very much. Street smart. So, I would say that's my dream job because I don't see myself doing anything else. Not that I'm lazy to do another job, but I don't see myself doing anything else. And not that I'm, like, money crazy. Well, I mean, come on. Everyone wants to be, like, good, not, like, paycheck paycheck. I mean, I am working towards, like, doing what I want to do professionally, but, I mean, I want something fun that's going to keep me, like, on the edge, but, yeah, that's cool. And, let's see here, question number five, what's your favorite makeup brand? Oh, it's hard. I'll go first since I don't have a bitch. Urban Decay, because my majority of my makeup is Urban Decay. And NARS. So oh, that's hard. For, okay, for me it's hard because... You have a lot? No. <laughs> I, okay, I would say my favorite is MAC because it's affordable and, oh my god, I love all their colors. But I hate MAC foundations. And that makes no sense for me because, again, I'm a foundation junkie. So, but I'll stick with MAC. If, I, if MAC was all that was available, I'd be okay. Fair. Fair enough. Um, what is something that annoys you about the oven? <laughs> oh my god, are we gonna, about to get in a fight right now? <laughs> we have the whole weekend left. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know what? And I'm going to be honest. We don't fight. I, in the six years that I've known her, we have never gotten in a fight. If I annoy her, she tells me to shut up. <laughs> or, yeah. We're very blunt with each other. And I think that's the best part of our relationship. And we don't get our feelings hurt. It's kind of like, whatever. Like, if anything... I think I, you, well, I think the only time I felt like a little bit was we have gap when we she didn't live next door to me for a while. She moved out and she's obviously she's got her rings and a little away from the coop. But um, there was there's moments of uh, when Jojo was two. Yeah. There was long gaps that we wouldn't see that we didn't see each other, and it wasn't because we didn't want to. It's just she had she was doing what she was doing and I was doing what we were doing and it was just yeah. never. And I felt, at that time, I felt kind of like, oh, like I missed, I missed you yeah. and I thought, oh my god, did I do something wrong? Or, that was the, the only time. Yeah, but, but I, I wasn't even like, we were mad at each other for anything. So I don't, I don't know, I think it's because like, we have made that like, bond of like, they are JoJo's, I mean, you guys are her parents. So it's like, I mean, it's not like you're not It's like, <laughs> exactly, it's like, I want to always have that bond with them because, God forbid or something like I want to know that they're always going to be in my daughter's life. So yeah, but I don't think there's anything that annoys us. I mean, we we I think just our personalities click really well. We're really different personalities, but they click well. It's like if if because even when we go on like trips for like a week, we don't get we don't get. There's people that you're like, oh my god, I can't wait to get the hell away from this person. Like that's even family. Let me just throw out an opinion about you. I'm a neat freak when I travel. I like my things, like, like, oh. very clean. <laughs> I know I have And she's not. That's probably the one thing that annoys her. It's because I pick up after everybody and I don't enjoy myself. Yeah. It doesn't annoy me because it's like, because I can be neat too. I mean, I'm not like a pig or anything. <laughs> but that's not what I meant. But, but, <laughs> but it, yeah, it annoys me for the fact that I'm like, come on, we just got to the hotel. Like, lay down, relax. And she's unpacking. Like everything and organizing it, but it's not like it annoys me. Just like it's a pet I want, peeve. I want her to like have fun and relax. I but I guess that's and she's told me that's what relaxes me. So that makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So that would probably be. I don't. There's nothing that annoys me about you. You sure? Yeah. How about she's now she's trying to find something. <laughs> no. No. How about talking about a certain stuff on the time? No! I joined in! <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I mean, like, when, like if, I, if I'm having a bad day and I need to vent about certain people or whatever, that never bothers her because she joins in. <laughs> like, ah, oh, you guys are bitch. <laughs> yeah. But, no. I don't think there's anything that annoys me. That's kind of weird. Oh, that I took a long time to get ready? No. The boys. The boys, the boys and everything we do annoys them. That could probably, that'd be a good question to ask them. 
Yeah, what annoys them about it? Because seriously, when we're not with them, they're like laughing like crazy. And then when we get there, it's like they're all quiet. It almost makes you feel like you're so like annoying to them. Like we're the kids and they're the adults. Whatever. Whatever. Anyhow. <laughs> If you could go anywhere in the world to get, oh, this question, fine. No, wait. Jesus Christ. When you get old, you just can't find. Uh, if you, question seven. If you can go anywhere in the world together, where would it be and why? Anywhere? I would say Greece because that's been my favorite place to go. I love Mamma Mia. I'm a freaking musical fan. And I love how beautiful the water looks over there. Yeah. And why? Because... Uh, I don't know about you, but I've never been out of the country because yeah. I went to Mexico and Canada. I would want to go to Europe, anywhere up there. Anywhere up there. Um, we were just talking about this today. We, my daughter doesn't want a quinceañera. She's only, mine's gonna, she's only gonna be six, but if she doesn't, if she legitimately doesn't want one, we're gonna take a trip. Just us three. Yeah. No boys. Because the boys just, no, not that they ruin it, but. Is your trip over I, th I hope so. Can you hold it? Okay. Sorry, go to the next question. Okay. I'll, I'll turn. <laughs> question eight. Your favorite inside joke. <laughs> Do we have to explain it? That's the thing that I'm thinking. Mine is, um, there's a lot. Like, I'm just going to throw words what out. Do you mean? I'm just going to throw words out. Okay. Bleach? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, it's just between you and me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jesse. She yeah. Jesse's me. Uh, um, <laughs> who else? I think those. I don't know. What, what are going to yours be? Bleach. Bleach. Her favorite. Are thing. we going to explain this? No. Yeah, I'm okay. not explain. We can't explain inside jokes because then it wouldn't be inside jokes. Yeah. They'd be public jokes. <laughs> um. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking about things that I'm like gonna have to say what it is, but people are gonna see it. <laughs> no, just um, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. But it might hurt people's feelings. <laughs> We're not mean girls. We're not mean. We just like to joke between ourselves. Yeah. So, um, who takes longer to get ready in the morning? That's a no one between us four. Right. Out of all four of us, when we go anywhere, she's the last one to come out. And I'm the first one to start getting ready. And she's the first one to start getting ready. Yeah. And I can always hear, hurry up, get ready, because you're the one who's going to take the longest. Mm -hmm. Or Victor, her husband, always tells me, ah, you don't need to do that. Or Hector will just give her a look. Her like this. <laughs> <laughs> Our men are very uh, impatient. <laughs> oh, they're going to think we're abused. <laughs> We're not abused, but it's just, that's how they are. They're very quiet. Um, favorite season? See how, I don't get these jokes. Like, again, I don't understand some of these. Winter's mine. Um, I love, okay, I, and I think we might agree, winter, right? Mm -hmm. Just because I hate being hot. I think when we're cold, we can control how hot we want to get. Versus if you're already hot as hell, you can't get cold enough. Yeah, and um, we just talked about this today. Our husbands, for some reason, they hate having the AC on in the car. Like, we're sweating, and they want us to... They want us to roll the windows down. First of all, it ruins your hair. Not that they have hair to worry about, but it ruins your hair. And then you don't want to be sitting on a road trip doing, like, uh, uh, on your face. <laughs> exactly. Because you can't open your eyes because the wind is fast. And you have face. to yell. And you're like, like, what are you doing? Like, like, the whole freeway, here's your conversation. It's, it's ridiculous. Turn the AC on. It's hot. <laughs> exactly, but okay. yeah. Oh, and yeah, my husband swears that the the vent the vent without the word AC lit up is still air conditioning. I said, um, no, that's just the fan working with the air that's been sucked up from outside. But who am I? I I don't know what the hell I'm talking. Well, about. Hector says that it wastes gas. See, this is why we can't. Oh, why? Like, why do you care? I put gas in my car. Your favorite song. Favorite song. Oh god, that's a hard one. I have a lot. I have a lot of favorite songs. Like, are you talking about favorite song? Like, if you like said favorite song, 
that reminds you of so and so, or like favorite song of your or party child song, or whatever. yeah, whatever. Then that would make more sense. But when you just say current favorite song, I don't know. Like I have a lot. How about we pick our current favorite, like our fir- current favorite song that's on the radio right now? Yeah, mine would have to be um, Ro- Robert, Robert, Robin, Robin Thicke, Thicke. Robin Thicke. <laughs> Blurred Lines. I don't know what it is. I like, love that song. I just freaking that Ooh. song is awesome. I love that song. I hope they have it in the club. It's just again. like, it's like catchy. It's like, you just want to. And he's so ha, sexy. Ha, 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 ha. And that, like, I'm going to be popping. I'm going to do the club. I'll be popping. I'll be like, I would be popping more, but I jiggle them. You guys see the jiggling, and it just gets me. So that would be the blurred lines that would be my favorite. Okay. Uh, what is it like being best friends with someone who is obsessed with you two? I don't think we're no. no, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. Every day I go, I I don't have Facebook, so my to go. Uh, what's that? The word word uh, that you use for like for Instagram and Facebook and all that. What's that? Uh, so okay, social media. My version of social media goes from I wake up in the morning, I check Instagram. After Instagram, I check on YouTube. I think YouTube is fun. It's informative. You meet new people. You see different ways to... Like if somebody said, make your version of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I can guarantee you not more than two people are going to make it the same way ever. Yeah. I mean, you people have different ways of doing things, and sometimes it's weird, and sometimes it's informative, and I learned a lot of things from Instagram. Or Instagram. Well, I think... Instagram too, but in YouTube. Yeah, I think, well, like, I think the key, though, is, like, we don't... When we're together, we don't... We're not on YouTube, like, we're not, that's, like, we don't sit together watching videos, or, like, it's not like, oh, we're sitting here, and she's on YouTube, and I'm just, like, sitting here, no, like, like she said, we do it on our own time, like, and then when we see a video that I think, like, I go, oh, Lola would like that, then I'd be like, oh, check this one out, or, yeah. or I'll show her when she's in front of me if I'm, like, we're not together, but it's mostly, like, we communicate about it, but we never watch it together, well, so it's not that, I don't think it's obsessed. It's informative, and I think it helps both of us out, so. I'm okay well, And that's what God is just doing these videos. For you guys. So, maybe the five people that are going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, heels or flats? Flats. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with flats. Um, we can't so, walk in heels. We can't walk in heels. As beautiful as they are, we can't walk in heels. Oh, they're so beautiful. Like, you don't understand... We literally can't walk in heels. Like I we go to like, a shoe store, we go straight for the heels and be like, "Oh my god, these are awesome!" And then we're like, "Yeah, we can't walk." In heels. <laughs> That's not possible. But they're so pretty. I can't tell you the time that I fell. <laughs> she was wearing wedges. Nobody, I don't know anybody who's ever fallen in wedges. Those wedges were thin at the bottom. Bet. Give her this. There was a crack in the street. <laughs> I fell with my ice cream and my ice cream fell and she's like instead of worrying about her safety, I asked her if he wanted she wanted another ice cream. She like seriously skidded for like a little bit. And I'm worried that she scraped her knee or whatever and he's like, You want another ice cream? Like she was fine. You want another one? It's gonna make you feel better. No. Yeah. But yeah, no, definitely flats. flats. <laughs> okay. Well, I, mean, I mean we do little heels, but I don't guarantee they're gonna stay on the Like line. for Vegas I'm pretty sure we're gonna they're gonna be bigger than. I mean, to, like if you, she says flats, and I'm looking over here, and I'm looking at her shoes. But those are never worn. Exactly, but they're not. Well, yeah, I have heels too. Then okay, whatever. We just them. like to know that we have heels, just to have them there. Pants or dresses? I'm gonna go with pants. I'm not a dressy kind of girl unless I have to. If somebody died, no. <laughs> even at that funeral, I'll wear pants. Yeah, it's like pants. But. This trip for Vegas, we keep bringing it up because we're so excited about it, but um, I'm going to be wearing dresses and heels. Hopefully that'll... I mean, it's not that we're not comfortable. Okay. Important documents. I would, okay, so I would save important documents. I would definitely save the teddy bear. Oh, I'm 31. I would definitely save the teddy bear that my dad got me. Um, pictures. It's because... To be quite honest, where we lived, we had lots of fires, so now I'm fire prepared, so I have, like, my life in one section where I just grab and go. My wedding pictures. Are you serious? I can't have that. No? 
You should do that. You should. Because all of my stuff, I went through everything and got everything because we almost had to evacuate. Oh and God. and uh, I had to stay asleep. My husband, if you were to ask him, he'd grab the flat screen TV, his Xbox. That's technically. And, but, yeah, no, I had to think realistically. <laughs> seriously? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Important like, step. No, seriously, because okay, and then like, not that I'm materialistic, but I would take my handbags. Yes, that's true. I would grab all my purses and oh my makeup and your makeup. I think I would literally. This is honestly, honest to God, this is probably what I would do. I would get like a really thin blanket, lay it on my bed, throw all this shit on top of it, grab some like duct tape, like pull it like a bag and put duct tape, and let's go. That is what I would do. I that, that's smart. That's what I probably do the same, but I would put handbags. I forget my makeup because I'm not gonna touch it. But I would take my makeup brushes because I got yelled at last time. I threw stuff out. She threw Mac brushes away. <gasps> I don't take them off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that um, I wouldn't care about clothes. No. Um, but well, make, we just spend a lot on clothes. We did. I mean, I carry some of it. But no, and my my. I think you would it. take your. Line. Oh, take my line. This is really, this is really depressing. Hector got this for me like three years ago. It looks gross. I sleep on him. There's another pillow that she takes every road trip, even though she, everybody doesn't remember except me, her Simba pillow. <laughs> I'm the only one that remembers that every single trip that you take is your Simba pillow, so I think you take that too. Simba pillow. And this line. See, I have a thing for baby cub lions. And Minnie Mouse. Save the cub. Oh. <laughs> okay, comedy, horror, or chick flick? Horror. Horror. I'm Even trying, though we're scared. You, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to go watch The Conjuring. <laughs> Scary. I'm excited. I remember when we watched Paranormal Activity and it was like, we were yelling in the living room and the guys were like... We're those people that if somebody's like, if you see some girl running up the stairs and you know the bad guys out there, you're screaming at the TV, Stop! Don't go up there! Yeah. What are you doing? Where why do you always go upstairs when you know there's a killer? Like, why? <laughs> what, are you going to jump out of the window? Like, you're going to die anyways. <laughs> no, don't go upstairs. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, question 18. Blackberry or iPhone? iPhone. iPhone. Well, because we both have iPhones. I had a Blackberry. And did you? Yeah, way back in the day. Yeah, I had a... Way what? back. <laughs> way back, like, you're so... <laughs> I think for the time when Blackberry was big, before the iPhones even came out, I think they I were I think good now phones. it's like iPhone or Galaxy. Yeah. That's the big question. Yeah. Now. Uh, favorite movie? I think scary movie would be mine. Scary movie? Any scary movie. Oh, I thought you said like scary No, movie. no. That's not funny. That's, that's stupid. Any scary movie? I don't know which one my favorite movie is. See, I have like a... Oh, I know. I know what my favorite movie is. The one I could watch over and over and over and I don't get tired of. Oh, Lion yeah. King. Mine would be Pride and Prejudice it's with Karen so Knightley. It's a Jane Austen book. No, no. I don't know to it's 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 old school. I like old movies like ain't like not ancient but like 1800s setting. I'm weird. Yeah, <laughs> like you like instead of DJs, people have like a little band, and you would waltz around. Like, I'm very Marie Antoinette type, type, oh. type of genre. No, I'm 90s. So am I. Oh, my God. I was like, I'm not a vampire, and I have not like 100 years old. Lion <laughs> King for me. Uh, what is something weird that you eat? You. Oh. Uh, that you eat anything weird? I don't think. I like to eat pizza with ice cream. Oh, yeah, that's weird. That's not weird. It's chicken and it's No! Everyone thinks so that's weird. weird when you tell them. I know that's normal. I'm not She famous. literally puts her ice cream on top of her pizza. pizza and then it's I not like it. she eats pizza and then ice cream. It's like together in the same bite. It's good. And it's gotta be cheese pizza with vanilla ice cream. <laughs> you. I don't think I eat anything weird. I'm very picky. Okay, for those that's... Okay. There's a lot of people out there that have spaghetti. I don't know anybody who ever has spaghetti with American cheese. It's her. delicious. But it's good. I'll give her that. It is good. It's so good. But she likes it with a lot of cheese. 
It's like an apple pie with American cheese on it. I've never had it, but it's supposedly it's supposed to be really good. Yeah, see? You're making that face, but apparently it's an all-time classic. Um, no, I mean, for me, weird, maybe, like, I dip my fries in ice cream. That's not weird. I do mine in Frosties for Mondays. I do that. Um, I say spaghetti with American cheese is kind of weird. Okay. It's weird, but I like it. But it's so yeah. delicious. Try it. Just, like, melt it a little bit. Oh, my God. Easy. Easy. <laughs> so good. We're supposed to have that for dinner today. But we're not. Because we're filming. Because <laughs> we're filming. Because we're filming. Do you guys have anything matching? Yeah. Our Mark Jacobs uh, purses. side purses. Um, our love at one point for seatbelt bags. Um, we're... I don't, what else? I think we have a couple of... We have like jeans, bracelet. Oh, the jeans. Pandora bracelet. Pandora bracelets. Jeans, yeah. Um, no shirts. No shirts. A lot of like little accessories and hair stuff. Huh? That'd be it. Makeup. Chi. Chi. She got me into the chi straightener. I didn't even know about straighteners until I remember. Um, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Our love for Mark Jacobs. Yeah. I think that's it. It is. That's it. See, we're older. We can't pull off the matching. But we tried French hair bracelets matching. Somebody lost her spec. Oh my god! No, I didn't! Somewhere in my room. That's why I had to get her a Pandora one because I know she wouldn't lose that. Um, and she had to give me a box to store it in, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your favorite? And this is the last question, even though it doesn't sum up a best friend's tag. What's your favorite TV show? The Walking Dead. <laughs> I have a lot. Okay, if you know, like, legit, back in the day, what was my favorite, like, my favorite, favorite, favorite? You know! I don't even know. Somebody asked me what she was studying in school, and I couldn't think of it, even though I know. My alt, okay, like, my sh my favorite show, and I know people are going to make fun of me for this, because... Kids Incorporated? No, what? not that back in the day, like... Yeah, that was my age. <laughs> <laughs> okay, The Hills. Oh yes, I was obsessed the, with hills. the hills. I was obsessed. With she the has hills. them on DVD. All the seasons, and like every summer, I'll watch them over again. I don't know. It's maybe I like the drama. I don't know. I just I love Elsie. Elsie, I love you. But then it came, and then it happened. Desperate Housewives. Oh, Desperate Housewives is another one that I have all the seasons that I rewatch all the time. Mm -hmm. And now it's The Walking Dead. I know that's kind of. She's like random. I don't even watch The Walking Dead. I want her to start watching it. Please convince her to stop, start watching it. My favorite TV shows uh, were The Office before they ended. I love that one. Um, Grey's Anatomy. World it. Big Brett. Well, that's not like favorite, favorite. Oh. Um, New Girl. Family Guy. Oh, Definitely love Family Guy. Um, American Dad. Anything Seth MacFarlane makes. I love it. Um, pretty much it. Yeah, Grey's Anatomy. I'm trying to think of if I my DVR was to die, which ones I would have on there. Oh, and some of the Real Housewives franchise, not all of them. Oh, I like Mob Wives. Oh, Mob Wives. Too. I like Princesses of a Long Island. That's a good one. Um, and I think that's it. But yeah. And then, oh, and I like watching that MTV, like, those challenges. Ooh, yes. We're watching, I'm watching Rivals 2 right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, <laughs> I but mean, not even, even though, like, I stopped real world happened during my prime teen years, but. It sucks now. It, I don't watch any, I haven't watched, the last real like world I Las watched Vegas was, yeah, was, mm, mm, Portland was last one. I don't know, anyway, I don't know half the cast, but who cares? I still watch this that because fun. there's still old school people that go on that, so. I know. I'm going to be sad when there's no old school people. When it's full of new people, then I probably won't watch. But, but then again, I'll, I'll probably be like 40. So, yeah. So, yeah, we're Easy. going. We're going. You want to come say hi really quick? Say hi to the camera. Come in. Come in. So, here's a little bean stock that kind of keeps it all together. She's, she, I guess she, what you would say, she, besides Victor introducing us, this is the reason why we're still talk. That's this little girl. Say hi, Jojo. Hi. Who is she? 
Mm -hmm. Nina. And she's my what? Best friend ever! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, I think that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed our best friend tag. And hopefully we get the guys, <laughs> the guys, the guys <laughs> to do it too. Because I think they would actually have a really good time filming it. Yep. Right they, need, they really need a good time filming it. Because they never film. And they're yeah. what? They're best friends too, huh? Yep. Like. What do they do? They just play around and they're lazy. They go to work. They're tired. That's what they do. That's and, and the and the and the little kids have to go to school camp. Like everything. Little kids being you, right? Yeah. And then what does me and mommy do? They go to work and they have fun. But not. They said Nina here. She works at her house and that's called fun. It is. <laughs> it is not like we're not like Daddy and Nino. We're we don't go to work and come home lazy and tired and grumpy, huh? Yeah, cause my dad does that. <laughs> Every time when he picks me up from school or camp, it, I just go to camp now. Cause I'm through with my vacation school. <laughs> She's I'm going. going to first grade now. Yeah? And then I'm going to second and then third and then <laughs> go. My dad is more lazier. Because <laughs> every time when he picks me up from camp, he just takes out his shoes and then he plays a game sometimes. Because that's with what he who? does. He plays a game with With him. Victor! That's Nino! That's <laughs> Nino! Oh, <laughs>